All right, guys. <clears throat> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about a seriously over the top beautiful <clears throat> night here in the end times. Says that taking a. Uh, a late night stroll through the dwindling lightning bug show here at Bugs in a Jar Farm with this gorgeous moon set over the mountain. And, uh, <laughs> I guess we can get back to the insect apocalypse now. It's, it, it, it's unbelievable how quickly the lightning bug show it bugs in a jar comes to an end you know they they peak on the 4th of July and that was pretty true this year so it was eight nights ago when I was taking this same walk with this young lady on the 4th of July through the peak of the lightning bug show where there were, I mean, just outrageous numbers of uh, lightning bugs. I mean, it's still beautiful, but I would say in the last eight days that uh, there was a lightning bug in the middle of the road just dropping dead. In the last eight days, I would say the lightning bug show has collapsed 80 to 90 percent, I'd say 80 percent, and uh, <clears throat> within, certainly within a week, there will be virtually zero lightning bugs left at Bugs in a Jar. For another year, but it was a fine, fine year for the lightning bugs, and, and I can almost see Scorpio's tail, tail from here. Man, that moon is gorgeous. I guess the moon, yeah, the moon is getting bigger, and uh, we are going to get a lot of rain next week so I don't know what the full moon is going to look like but it is absolutely gorgeous here tonight walking down the road at Bugs in a Jar Night, baby. Ah, come to the bottom of another bottle of tequila. Last margarita out of that bottle. I guess all my vacation guests have. Settles down into bed on the, on the loving couples. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Another night of filling up my property with all these young couples. Sleeping in each other's arms as I'm uh, <laughs> walking down the road by myself. Looking at the moon in Scorpio. That might, am I looking at Scorpio's tail or not? Right over the, the power pole. 
Well, the moon's going to be getting brighter every night. I got to remember this when the moon gets dark again. I might actually be able to see Scorpio's tail from here. But, uh, oh, well, another. Another year of lightning bug shows. Peter's out. Uh, it's going to be close to 90 degrees again tomorrow. And God. This is my exciting life. My exciting life. Walking down a country road. Uh -oh, what is that? James Taylor. Walking down a country road. I think Kate Wolf has a song about walking down country roads. And I guess John Denver, he was driving down country roads. Uh, walking down a country road looking at lightning bugs and Scorpio and the moon setting. I'm looking at some fucking drone or something. Goddamn drones. I guess uh, poor Elon Musk had a, uh, another little oops moment with... <laughs> One of his liftoffs. Poor Elon. Mm, man. I guess the only blinking lights in another week will be fucking airplanes and drones and uh, the usual suspects. Still got the lights on up at Seahorse. The lovers. Seahorse. Oh man. <laughs> what a fucking bunch of work. This place has been. Sounds like there's one frog croaking in the pond. <clears throat> yes, all of the fucking is about over for the year. The frogs have finished fucking. The lightning bugs have finished fucking. I never started fucking. <laughs> there is more sex going on at Bugs in a Jar Farm than uh, between the, the young lovers in my tiny houses and the frogs and the fucking lightning bugs. Oh, everybody's fucking. That was a Commander Cody song. Everybody's fucking. Everybody's fucking but me. All right. 
So one more look at that beautiful moon. Another day begins mañana. Oh, when will it end? When will it fucking end? All this fucking work. <laughs> oh, Lord. Humans. Fucking humans. What a fucking joke we are. Bye, guys.